Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making chicken pot pie. Alright guys, I'm trying out my new pressure cooker. So for you guys who are watching the video, you'll be the ones to see me first use it for the first time. Alright, I'm going to start out with my pressure cooker. It's an 8-quart. I have some boneless, skinless, frozen chicken breast here. I'm going to add a few of them into the pot. One big one, two, three. One big one and three medium ones. So I'm going to burn around here to get this hot. And I'm going to add in there two cups of water. I'm going to add in, get this going here. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. If you watched my videos before, you know me with celery seed. I like it. I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of celery seed. I'm going to seal the lid on this. Get this cooking. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, don't panic. You can cook this in a regular stock pot, but you're going to have to cook it on medium heat for probably about a half hour. And here it's only going to take about 10 minutes. Alright, I cooked this under pressure for about 10 minutes, and I will open her up. And there you have the chicken. And that's after 10 minutes in a pressure cooker. Alright, let me get this lid out of the way. And like I said, you don't have to use a pressure cooker, but for those of you who know me, know that, uh, I'm a pressure cooker nut. Okay, I'm going to take this chicken out of the pot and shred it up some. Let's see if you can see me over here. Okay, I'm going to shred this chicken up. And this is going to get real good. If you don't want to use boneless skinless chicken, you can use the uh, chicken on the bone. Leave the skin on because that will help build your chicken stock. I'm going to uh, add some chicken base to this and some chicken stock out of the box. But uh, I'm just using a boneless skinless because it's cheaper to buy that way and it's more convenient to uh, separate. And this part here can go to Bella, my dog. Here, Bella. Alright. Back in the pot. Alright, I got my chicken all shredded and in the pot. I'm going to add in a 32 ounce box of chicken broth. You can use chicken stock, whatever you like. I'm going to add that in there. Now the rest of this cooking, we're going to do this as just a regular pot, no more pressure. What I like about these pressure cooker pots is they have an extra thick bottom on them, so when you do something like uh, pot pie in them, it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom as easily. Add all of that in there. Now I'm going to bring this back up to the right temperature, get it hot. I'm going to add in some water, so four cups. And I need more water than that. There's another four. That's eight cups. All right. I'm going to add in a little more. more cups. So that's a total of 12 cups. We start out with two cups of water in there to cook the chicken. Then I just added in 10 more cups of water. 
in our chicken and our chicken stock starting to get hot enough, I'm going to add in <clears throat> some chicken base. All right. And like I've said before, they sell this at Walmart. It's about four dollars a container. And this makes your chicken foods, soups, whatever, taste wonderful. It's worth the money. Give this a stir. That a taste. I need a little more than that. cold winter day than a nice warm uh, bowl or plate of chicken pot pie. It's starting to taste good. Just a hair more. taste. That's good. All right, now to that, I'm going to add some more black pepper, about a teaspoon more, just a little bit of salt. We don't want too salty. I'm also going to add in one medium chopped onion. Diced four large potatoes. I'm going to add them in. Uh, potatoes are strictly optional. I like potatoes in my pot pie, but if you don't like them, don't add them. All right, this is coming up to a boil now. I forgot I want to add in some celery seed also. I'm going to turn this down to medium. Add in my celery seed. About a half a teaspoon worth. All right. I'm going to make my pot pie. Start out with one egg in a bowl. Crack that in there. One cup of water. And I'm doing it in small batches because I don't have a big area here to roll it out. And a little bit of salt. A little over a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, now let me mix this up. I'll blend it in there. Now what you want to do is you want to add your flour in slowly until it gets to the right consistency like a dough. Now as you can see it's pretty much chicken soup right now. The potatoes and onions are in there boiling. Not slow boil with the chicken and the, and the stock and the seasonings. Okay. Now, one more flour in there. And I'm going to put some on my board. We don't want that in there. Spread that around. Get my rolling pin. Alright. Get that dusted so it don't stick. As you see, I'm sticking on myself here already, but we'll make it work. Okay, pull out a little bit of dough. Now I'm going to roll this out. Put 
flower here. about the extra flour on your Popeye dough because that's going to help thicken up your your broth. Okay, now we've got this in the squares. Check off the excess and gently lay that in. And it don't have to be perfect, it just has to taste good. Alright, that actually took two batches of Popeye dough. Now, if this seems like it's too much work for you, you don't have the time or whatever, by all means, buy the store-bought Popeye squares in the pasta department and use them. Alright, now I'm going to add in a half a 16-ounce bag of frozen peas and carrots. If you want to use fresh, go ahead, that's your decision. Trying to keep this as quick and simple as it is because tonight's work night. Alright, and I'm going to finish this off with some parsley. Okay, I'm going to bring this up to a boil and reduce the heat down to medium low and let it cook till my Popeye's cooked through, I'm guessing about 15 minutes. And then when it's done, I'll have you guys back and show, show you what it looks like. Alright, I left that cook in a medium heat for about 20 minutes. Um, if you don't have an extra thick bottom pot, you might want to cook it a little lower heat so it doesn't burn. So let's serve some of this up. So there you have it. Really delicious, hearty chicken pot pie. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. Until next time, see ya.